So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want you to notice is that on this slide in the lower left-hand corner is a link to the spreadsheet that contains some of the data that we can work with today. I'm going to go ahead and click on this so we can open this up. If you open this up for yourself, um, please make your own copy by clicking on the option for file and then make a copy. This way you can make changes to this and you don't have to worry about not being able to find it later on uh, because it will reside inside of your drive. The exercise file contains three tabs. The first one is, is the dashboard itself. So this is what you would share with people who would need to see exactly what the data looks like inside of the sheet. Um, we can tell from here that we're probably looking at a conference because there's a span of time where we're tracking the number of people who have done something. We are also looking at uh, whether or not the people belong to the SEISD district or they're coming in from the outside. We will see here on the right hand side with the pie chart, the percentage coming in from different campuses. And down here is a graph that is showing us the number of people who have designated themselves according to what a certain job role is. And then on the right hand side, we see a table that gives us the numerical value of the number of entries by the campuses themselves. And down at the bottom is the number of entries by the district itself. So that's the layout of the actual dashboard. Uh, the next tab is the response sheet where it, with the uh, user is actually filling in the information on an online form. Once they click submit, then that data will appear here. And the last tab is the array formula. And inside the array formula is where all of the work is being done with the option of inserting formulas and also inserting pivot tables and graphs. So this first half is going through the process of showing you how to actually create the dashboard itself. So what I'm going to do in the exercise file is click on the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner to add in a blank sheet. The first thing I want to do is to go in and probably take away the grid lines. And to do that, I click on view, show, and then I uncheck grid lines. I want to fill this background in with some color to give it a pop. So I'm going to go to the upper right-hand corner right here with my cursor, click once, and that will select everything within the actual sheet itself. Once that's done, I can go to the fill color bucket here, click on there, and then choose a color that is nice and calm, but not too excitable. So I'm going to go with this purple. As you saw right here in the demo, I not only have a background color, but up at the very top, I have an image that kind of brands what the actual event is. There's the picture. But I also have text that I've typed in and changed the font type, size, and color so that it's readable. Let's go ahead and do that on my blank sheet. And also one thing that I also will do is click twice on the sheet name and then type in what I want to call it. So this one is dashboard two, because you can't have two tabs with the same name in the same sheet. So let me click up here and type in the title, conference data for end of year event. Press enter. If I want to make changes to it, I have to go back and click on it. So it's selected. I am going to go ahead and give it a fancier font. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm going to change the color to white so that it pops a little bit more. So on yours, um, please go through the process of doing the same. So the next thing I'm going to do is something that wasn't shared during the actual training. It's how do I go through the process of adding a picture? So you'll notice that inside of the demo, there's a picture right here. 
And quite honestly, that was a screen grab of the presentation's cover slide. But what you can do, because you are working inside of Google, is that inside of Google Sheets and several other programs is the option for what is called a Google Drawing. So if I click on Insert and choose the option of Drawing, it kind of gives me a blank drawing pad that I can work with. I have a couple items up here on the toolbar that will help me make a picture. So let's say that I start off first with some type of rectangle. Um, the rectangle is a certain complementary color to go along with purple. Mm, let's see, yellow. Well, that's going to pop. Inside of here, I can use the text box to type additional um, words, phrases, or such. Uh, this is the theme for the conference. Think differently, make changes. So if I am using the text box, that means that I can also change the font by using the options up here at the very top. I want this to be centered. And then I can move it to the center of the rectangle. I also want to have a picture. So inside of this window, there's the icon for image. Because we are using Google, it will give us access to items that we have on our computer, items we have inside of our drive. But it also has the Google Safe Search option. So I am typing in what I think I need to have a picture of. Technology. Let's see. What does it come up with? Ooh, a robot. People like robots. So now I have a robot. I'm going to resize that and see if I can place it within that rectangle. It's covering up my words. Let's say if I make my words a bit narrow, drag you over here so you're in the center. Take out that minus, add in a new line, and then make you larger. And since I like that blue that's going along with the uh, robot image, I'm going to change it from yellow to probably something that's matching, which means I need to take the words, probably change them to a different color to make them pop. It's not bad. Not bad. So I'm going to choose the option to save and close, and then this will show up inside of the dashboard. I can click once on it, and now I have the ability to move it around and place it where I want it to be. I want the words that I typed here to actually be on the other side of the image. So I'm just clicking and dragging them over, moving the image up a little bit. And then let's see if we can make these words center and also wrap which means that column i will have to be just a little bit bigger to accommodate the titles oh nice okay so now we have our image our brand name or saying and the title of what the dashboard is about, which is conference data for the end of year event. So the next one, we will go through the process of taking a look at the data itself and discussing why we're using an array formula to do our data analysis.